Thanks, Dave. Um, as Dave said, I'm Trevor Smith, President and CEO of Atomic Six, um, and the mold fund was great because we have a proprietary mold technology that answers the question that the composites industry has tried to solve for the past 50, 60 years, which is how do we get high performance at high volume for low cost? Um, that's what we've addressed. So using the super and sitter programs, I have a few tips for the small business folks out there and then the Air and Space Force folks who want to work with us. Um, one is, you can be the smartest inventor in the world, but unless you identify the man, you're dead in the water. So I want to thank the AFA for introducing me to Brock over here. Um, about a year and a half ago, I was working out of my house, didn't have an office, didn't have a customer. I flew out to LA, COVID wouldn't let us meet in person, so we Zoom called about a mile away from each other. Um, but he spent an hour of his time. <laughs> Yep, Rock McMillan spending an hour's time with someone he didn't know at all, but he took the time and, and saw the value of what we're working with and pointed us in a couple directions. And so I brought a piece with me today. Um, that phase one turned into a phase two, and we're working with AFRL Space Vehicles Directorate to manufacture next gen composite structures for things like the rollout solar array on the International Space Station. So we're making low cost, radiation hardened, redeployable structures, which are gonna be critical for all space missions in the future. Um, that's led us to, you know, using that, that um, development has led us to working with companies like Fredbar and, and big, you know, deployable space systems. We've gotten a lot of attention and it's like, we wanna track this, let us know how your phase two works out. Um, and so Rock explained to me what a phase one, two, three, TAC five, strat five, you know, all the acronyms, it was great. So thank you for that. Um, the second is you should always be a real estate guy. You want to leverage your assets uh, and align incentives for a one plus one equals four situation, right? So we just submitted a uh, phase two for hypersonic weapons research. And I do this with every proposal. I use that as a way to re outreach for commercialization for private companies. Like, hey, if we're gonna do this proposal, what would be of interest to you? And if it is of interest, would you actually have interest in supporting the effort? At a minimum, with like a letter of support, or actually diving in with us and showing us some of the materials you've used in the past and best practices. So we got Young Gravity, one of the largest uh, space structure manufacturers in the world, to support our hypersonic phase two submission. Um, so it's, it's really great. And then the last, I want to talk about a case study. Um, we're in the middle of a phase two. We're making a bulkhead for the Group Five unmanned combat aerial vehicle. So the initial proposal was to make a metal mold and a 3D printing mold. So we have a proprietary mold technology and AFRL wanted to see a cost analysis and, and performance comparison. So the initial piece was we, we did cost analysis on the metal and 3D printing tool. The 3D printing tool was way too expensive. So I talked to my technical point of contact and I said, what do we do with the rest of this contract? It would be pointless to do this 3D printing tool. So again, going back to that commercialization and reaching out to industry, I reached out to one of the defense providers who's been down selected to potentially make this unmanned airframe. And I said, we've got an opportunity to present value to the Air Force to compare two different style bulkheads and two different technologies. Would you have interest in supporting this through materials and testing and all that stuff? So it's a win across the board for the AFRL Right, so they get to see different technologies. It's a win for us because we get to demonstrate our technology with two different bulkheads and geometries, and it helps us get that customer buy-in and support from a massive defense prime, letting us skip over that valley of death that you talked about, which is critical for small businesses, right? So we're that, we got that first million, we all partied, we were accelerated, and um, that's just, it's so important to get that commercialization pull through so you don't get stuck in that valley of death.